Hey everybody, Chris from the Brothers Take Care with a game review for Stray. You know, the game where you play as a cat. You've seen in the marketing and you go around a cyberpunk city on a sci-fi adventure. A platformer, catformer, whatever you want to call it. But I think in terms of reviewing it, it's important to differentiate between a cat game and a game where you play as a cat. Because I've heard a lot of people talk about this as the cat game, right? And that that seems to be the big draw and the big appeal for people. And I think... If you go in with that in mind, you could get a little bit disappointed or you might miss what the real appeal of the game actually is, right? So if it was just a cat game or a cat simulator, then it would be more like a sandbox experience whereby maybe you're in a neighborhood and you play as a cat and you do all the things that cats can do and the whole experience is about what it is like to be a cat, right? Now, while there are some of those features in this game in terms of cat behavior and little things cats can do, this is more of a sci-fi adventure where you play as a cat, right? I know it sounds like maybe I'm saying the same thing, um, but I think there is a distinction. You know, your protagonist happens to be a cat rather than this being a cat game. And really the appeal of the game is the adventure you go on and all the interesting characters that you meet along the way. I'm not going to give any story spoilers, but just for a brief setup, essentially you play as a cat who has been separated from its family you fall into this cyberpunk underworld city uh, where you meet lots of robots and then you basically try to make your way home and that's the bones of the story but as it goes on there's a lot of world building there's a lot of lore you meet a lot of characters you learn a lot of things about the world and really that was the intrigue of the game for me as it went on i did give it a go because i've heard good reviews and i thought oh, it might be fun to play as a cat but that's not the thing that kept me staying. The thing that kept me staying was actually the world itself. And I think they have made and created a very interesting world that's worth jumping into if this is a game that you would be interested in playing. Now, there's not like there's not a lot of combat or anything like that in the gameplay. It's all about traversal, solving puzzles, you know, uh, fetch questing a little bit, you know, looking for things that you need to get in order to access the next area. That's really what it's about. But I think there's some moments in this game that will surprise people too. So, And this is why I stress that it's not really a cat game because that makes it sound like it's a cutesy experience. And sure, the cat is cute and there's cute animations and the cat is wonderfully animated in, in the way it's presented. Um, but there's like moments in this game that are quite shocking when you're going in thinking, oh, it's a cute cat game. Uh, I was reminded of Resident Evil at points. <laughs> It's all I would say. And then there's a whole other section where I was like strongly reminded of Metal Gear Solid to the point where I felt like they definitely took inspiration from that and even inserted a certain game mechanic that I thought was a direct nod to Metal Gear Solid, which I thought was super cool, especially being a Metal Gear Solid fan. Um, but yeah, and it, look, it, it makes sense that in a game of this, because I've heard a lot of people as well ask like, well, when are they going to make the dog game and everything? First of all, this isn't a cat game. It's a game where you play as a cat. But secondly, it make like the the kind of characteristics that are associated with cats kind of lend themselves to gameplay. That kind of agility, the curiosity, um, all that kind of stuff. I, I think it just lends itself to playing as a cat. But there is little cute cat features for for all cat lovers. You know, there's a meow button. Uh, there's the ability to scratch things, scratch posts, go to sleep on different soft surfaces and that kind of thing and there are some trophies related to that cat behavior that you can get but ultimately the the game is really about the journey this experience of going through this world this interesting world collecting lore meeting new characters and even though it's an incredibly short game it was longer than i expected because i'd heard people like that was one of people's biggest gripes at the game was that they said it's incredibly short but i felt like we got to an end point and then it opened up a whole new section so i actually was surprised that it's quite longer and there are areas where you know i mean you can push on with the story but you can also do a little side content and explore a little bit more and get more out of it and just get up to fun little shenanigans too and um just enjoy your experience of being a cat climbing buildings and that kind of stuff so i think you get out of the game what you put into it really um now is this a purchase i don't know because I, I feel like there's not a lot of replay um, value and the game does sort of just end. I will say that it does sort of feel somewhat anticlimactic and um, you're, you're heading towards a destination and you kind of just 
it's the game just sort of ends without giving anything away um so i found it kind of anticlimactic and i don't see a lot of reason to jump back in but i did find the world they created super fascinating uh, i gave this a go because i upgraded to the playstation plus premium service and it was available on that at the time because i had already paid playstation plus subscription to upgrade to the premium was actually cheaper than to buy Stray. <laughs> so I just thought, and Stray is available through that anyway. So I just thought, well, I might as well give this service a go and try out this game at the same time. So I really enjoyed playing the game through that service. But with that comes the ability to play lots of other games too. So it all felt really rewarding to me and a good experience. Plus I had the time to just sit down and kind of just rummage through this game in a day. Um, but I think if you were to go out and buy this game specifically, like if you headed out to the shop, you bought it physically, you were excited for this game and then you play it. I don't know how um, happy you would be after that. Um, you know, it's certainly a fun game. It's not full priced or anything as far as games go nowadays. You know, it is priced at kind of an indie price level. But at the same time, um, it's not uh, an amazing game. It is a good game but it is not an amazing game, but it is good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the world that they presented to me. I liked that environmental storytelling that was going on. Um, there was, I was also very impressed with the lighting throughout um, and a lot of the reflections. I thought they were solid. The graphics overall felt more of a last gen game and I was playing the PS5 version. Um, so it's not like there was incredible graphics throughout, uh, but some of the animations were solid. And I did enjoy the overall experience. So would I recommend it to you? I think if you've got that PlayStation Plus Premium or even the PlayStation Plus Essential, I think it's called, or no, Extra, is it? I, I get confused which tier is which. Um, but if, if you have that and it's there available to you, I think you might as well jump in and try it. And that's one of the great things about those kind of services, same with like Game Pass, um, where there's a game there you're not sure about, you can just jump in, try it. And if you don't like it, you can just exit. And, you know, there's no... No harm done there. Um, but could I recommend you to buy it? Really depends on on what kind of gamer you are. This is just a puzzle platformer. Um, darker than I thought it would be. Uh, quite a dark game in areas. I mean, not super dark, but not as cutesy as um, people are making it out to be when they're referring to the cute cat game. <laughs> uh, so darker than I thought it would be. I did think that there was a missed opportunity not to allow you to maybe name the cat any dialogue that happens throughout in terms of storytelling is all text driven so i thought it would have been a good opportunity for you to feel um a sense of personalization if you could name the cat and that could come up in text and stuff but either way it, it's a fun adventure worth jumping into if you have the opportunity to jump into it um whether or not you should buy it maybe check out a few other reviews and see if this sounds like something that's right up your alley uh, but i'd love to hear from you guys as well if you guys have played it jump down in the comments share your thoughts what did you think of stray um try not to give away too much uh down in the comments because this is just a, a review in terms of the story but maybe what was your favorite aspect of the game and um, if you enjoyed this why not give it a thumbs up hit subscribe ring the notification bell that is of course if you've been watching this on youtube but if you guys have been listening to us on audio platforms and you can also touch base on social media facebook instagram and twitter at the brothers take to give your take on stray thank you very much for checking this out guys we'll see you in the next one